When you lack uh, proper health, uh, when you look at things like literacy, how much leisure can you say you have? What kind of a home do you have? Um, and, and, and so it is in contrast to someone who, ha who, who lives well, because um, human, I mean, to live like a human being is, is not just merely to exist. There are things that you need. I mean, do I have security? Do I have enough to eat? Do I have uh, a decent home? Do I have uh, adequate health care and, and po poverty is all of the negatives on those uh, questions. Those who are involved in, in the fight against uh, global poverty have to uh, realize that, I mean, they are fighting on several fronts, supposing for instance, um, they, they are aware that in, in that particular country um, children are dying because there is, uh, they do not have clean water. Well, they may be able to provide the means for, for, for getting uh, clean water, but if the government of that uh, country is investing not in the welfare of the people. Nigeria, you know, has had a great uh, wealth uh, in, in, in its oil revenue, but very little of it has, has found its way to benefit the people. I mean, everyone knows. Why do so many people say in the army want to become politicians? They want to become politicians because they want to become rich. Uh, so you need to have a concerted, uh, united uh, strategy for, for fighting this poverty. You won't succeed if um, even if several NGOs were to concentrate on saying we want to try to improve the health of children, what happens to their education, what happens about housing, and, and so forth and so on, and we won't, uh, we won't make a, a, a substantial dent in it if we do not have governments that are accountable to the people. Here in England there's been this uh, controversy about uh, uh, expenses by parliamentarians. Um, because you are in a country where people have to account uh, to the electorate, uh, Many, I mean, they've been exposed. Many have been forced to repay monies that they had uh, taken wrongfully. Uh, it would not happen, or it wouldn't happen easily, in, in a country where you have a, say, a, an authoritarian government uh, who can stand up and say to, to the President, uh, look here, you, you took money that did not belong to it, belonged to the people, you are going to be shot. Uh, and that's the end of the story, more or less. When you think of what uh, uh, President Mobutu did to, to
to Zaire. Uh, I mean, just scraping um, the wealth of that country. That's a very, very rich country, you know. Uh, it, 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 I mean, copper and all of those things, but also uh, Angola. And, and we must remember, I mean, that the West uh, supported uh, many of these corrupt uh, people because they were surrogates in, in the Cold War. Uh, Savimbi in Angola, they supported him despite the fact that uh, uh, it was undercutting and undermining uh, the national government. Um, the same, I mean, with Mozambique and Frelimo and Renamo. Uh, the West, the West was unscrupulous uh, in in backing uh, people who, whose human rights records were abominable. Many countries have uh, acquired debt through somewhat dodgy schemes, um, and. I suggested long ago, I mean, that uh, these international debts should be, should be scrapped, but with certain conditions uh, attaching. First of all, I mean, it must be that uh, the, the resources that are going to be released because the government is no longer having to um, uh, pay pay off uh, a, a debt to a foreign uh, debtor. They they must say quite clearly the money so saved must be used for the benefit of the people. Um, two, that uh, it's going to happen in countries with accountable governments. In South Africa, there are instances of uh, corruption. People uh, are being given contracts in ways that uh, are contrary to the law. Um, some, of the, some of the ones who, who are winning tenders are connected to top officials of the of the ruling party you hope i mean that uh, appropriate uh, uh, steps will be taken against any who are found to be guilty but you can see that uh, the tendency is is for is for people uh, to find ways of enriching themselves at the expense of, of the community. We in the Anglican Church uh, should speak to our counterparts in the wealthy countries to say you have to begin working hard to persuade your governments but the religious community uh, have, have to make those calls uh, to their friends in the developed world but at home they, they have to be uh, saying uh, we can't always be going around with uh, begging bowls. Uh, we have resources in, in our countries. Those resources ought to be being used for the benefit of the people. They should not just benefit a select elite uh, and that it is important, therefore, to have accountable government. They should speak out against corruption in high places uh, and, and generally uh, be looking to a time when you have a government that is responsive to the needs of the people, uh, to the demands of the people. South Africa is a country that should be able to um, have 
provided um, adequate um, housing. Um, we had expected, you know, that um, we would have made a very significant dent uh, in, in the levels of poverty. What happened is that they, they, they became victims of their own uh, propaganda, you know. They, uh, one of the things they said in the, in the first election that they were going to build, I don't know within what, uh, what time frame, they were going to build a, a million houses. Uh, and they did get to build a million houses, but you see, what kind of houses? And uh, that, that, that first lot of houses uh, was the next generation of slums. I mean, they very, very poorly constructed, uh, very small, uh, and, and in many ways perpetuating apartheid because they were being built for black people and they were being built uh, really in uh, segregated uh, areas where hardly any white people would live. But we, we, we have levels of poverty that um, are disgraceful and uh, are really a threat to the stability of our country. We are not entirely uh, smart, all of us. I mean, that th th there is something to be said for aid. I mean, especially, obviously, when you when you have uh, uh, natural disasters happening, uh, and also helping to pull people up. Uh, but it obviously is far better to begin helping countries to uh, develop uh, their own ability uh, so they can, they can begin to participate in trade and to have a, a more equitable uh, economic order. At the present time, we have one that is skewed very much in favor of the wealthy, the powerful, they actually make the rules. I mean, as a, as a small example, um, they will tell developing countries that uh, they must not uh, put up tariffs. Uh, they, 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 they've got to uh, engage in free enterprise, free trade. Uh, and then they have uh, barriers uh, which make it very difficult for developing countries uh, to market the, the, the goods that they produce in those countries. That's one. Uh, two is, uh, as you see with the European Union, um, the, the farmers there receive large uh, subsidies enabling them, therefore, to produce their, their stuff fairly cheaply. Uh, and, and, and so they can sell, sell at much, much lower prices. They can dump them, really, uh, on all the markets. And that depresses the prices. The, the developing countries are not able to compete at all in multilateral bodies like the World Bank, uh, the IMF. <laughs> uh, developing countries should, should have a voice. They should uh, be, be represented at the end. I mean, uh, everything is determined by the big boys. They make the rules and they are the referees. You know, uh, and and until that skewed uh, uh, 
relationship is is uh, put right we we will we will we will not be able to deal uh, with poverty we need to be doing things ourselves uh, uh, because i mean there are countries that are maybe not many countries in, on the continent but there are countries i mean you you look at uh, uh, botswana they 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 made decisions they are democratic they have an accountable government and a great deal of their resources are spent for the benefit of the people mauritius is another example mm -hmm.